So we're charged overnight. 200 mile range on the gasometer. Fantastic. So let's get going. Of course, no electric car will be complete without one of my stickers. So I'm quite still quite proud of my little business. I sold it, as you know. So I'm now sort of, well, I'm retired, but I still like to see, it gives me a bit of a buzz when I see customers, not just on Orkney, but all over the place, sporting one of my stickers, which has been adapted from what I originally did. It now says Reflex. There we go. So if you spot me charging up on the way back to Orkney, come say hello. So good afternoon. Uh, it's now Wednesday and a bit of a leisurely day today so I'm not racing around the country so not much to report but I thought I'd take this opportunity just to walk you around the Zoe and show you the actual marks and imperfections that were on the condition report in the earlier video I did um, before these daily vlogs. So let's have a quick look round. So you know everything is described really well by Shoreham so I know where are these scuffs to the alloy wheels uh, there was a few small chips, that's it locking itself, on the bonnet, which I was aware of. But the rest of it's really, really clean. Again, these gouges on the diamond cut alloy wheels. But don't forget, folks, this is a £5,000 car. There's a rear wheel. Rear bumper's nice and clean. Obviously, it needs a wash. And the other rear wheel. So I was aware of all these imperfections, but that was reflected in the price. So this, the most serious thing that I have done something about is the rear seat, or the front driver's seat rather. So not only is that just worn, but also the foam is really soft. So what I've done is I've bought off eBay this second-hand seat. Uh, actually, you can see it from here, look, I think. But you'll see it better tomorrow when I fit it. This is just a perfect seat, and this is the bolster on the replacement seat. So. More of that tomorrow when I fit it, but I'm still really, really impressed with this little machine. So I've been out this morning to go and see my daughter. So let's turn the fan off, just so you can hear me. So at 91%, showing 159 miles on the gasometer. It was showing. 100% 200 miles. I have been driving this morning with the heater on folks, yes with the heater on, but everything works absolutely spot on. So thanks to you lot for watching my videos and my daily vlogs. Tomorrow I've got a journey up to see a fellow trader, i.e. EV Nick, who I've known for a number of years and he's a massive fan of the Zoe. So I'm going to get his take on it and we're going to have a bit of a natter like I had with James yesterday. So I'm really looking forward to seeing Nick and hopefully when I'm there we'll, uh, we'll swap the seats over, the driver's seat tomorrow and then I'll start making my way back up to north to Orkney and I'll do a more of an accurate range check with numbers etc. A number of people said yesterday what was your mileage when you left Shoreham and when you arrived at Cambridge and I just didn't make a note, so I would have been more disciplined to do a range check on every time I stop and charge, etc, etc. But last night was exciting, as you probably saw. Got here to my parents with 1% uh, left, and they've just got a 3 kilowatt old Rolex unit. But by 8 o'clock this morning, it, it was fully charged, it was 100%. So yeah, nothing yet has gone wrong or fallen off, so I'm well happy. I'm going to attempt this afternoon to download the app. I spoke to Nick this morning and he said download the app and then you'll be able to see all the service history and the service check sheets via the app, which I'm quite interested. So I'm going to go inside now and see if I can download the app. I'll get back to you in a minute. So thanks to EV Nick, I found out I've got to download the app. So search in your Google Play Store or your iOS Store my Renault app. You have to type that in to get to this and once it's installed you open it. So obviously I've got to register because I've not had this app before 
So I'm guessing you pop your name in there. Uh, I put my email in and password. So I'm going to put my password in without you guys seeing it because I don't want you messing about with my heater just to annoy me. Not that I suppose you lovely people would. Um, right, there we go. So, latest features. Do you want to be told by email, SMS, post, phone? Let's go for email. Right, accept terms and conditions. Register. Right. Okay, it's not been created. That was pretty smooth. Activation code has been sent to your email address. Right. Let's check. If this is really that fast, this is a massive leap on... Oh, hang on. This is a massive improvement over the Nissan app, which is what I was familiar with over the years. Look at this. Wow. Okay. One account for quick access to your benefits and services, whether you own a Renault, Dacia or an Alpine or all three. <laughs> Activate your account. Uh, right, let's go for it. This is off the email. Uh, roll on the cookie. Oh, yeah. I'm not doing anything. Load in, roll on the cookies, load in. I'm just going to accept. It just keeps hinting. Welcome to my Renault, my Renault, my vehicle e guide view. No, don't want a retailer, don't want a valuation. Uh, what's all this then? This is all blurb, isn't it? Uh, I've already got it. Choose your favourite retailer. Google Play, book a service, contact us. Right, hang on then. So, how do I make it work? Because you know what the car is. Read app, ah, add a vehicle. Should read the Limin do flips port field. Right, let's go for search by reg number. So let's pop the reg in. I'm guessing this might still be registered to the previous. Uh, person that drove it add okay your vehicle has been added okay my vehicles <clears throat> add your Renault vehicle and discover everything in one place uh, okay what's that do ah right okay that's there so what do we do now? It's loading something. View. Dashboard. Oh. So it knows what I've got. Accept all. So it knows I've got a Zoe. Find out the warning lights on your dashboard, discover multimeter equipment. But how do I know you're actually talking to my car? Comfort, know everything, essentials, comfort, videos, take care of your vehicle. Can't be this easy, surely. Uh, tires, wipers, levels. Surely it's not going to look at the levels. I don't understand. I want to look into my car. Uh, warning lights. Find out the warning lights. Yeah, it's still not. Surely I'm not being able to talk to my car through this. <clears throat> what am I doing wrong? Let's go for my Renault. All right. Vehicles used. Drive electric. Owners discovery. Find a vehicle search. Value your car. My Renault login. Right. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> They've not disappointed. I know it would be like this. All of these apps are like this, aren't they? It's just gobbledygook. Let's try another thing. Vehicles. Uh Right, they're just adverts. I don't want that. 
I want to log into my car. I want you to help me talk to the car. Why is it not obvious? <sighs> Find a car, value your car, contact us, my Renault login. Right. Something odd going on here. Yeah, that's not working, is it? So there you go. I knew it'd be complicated. I knew it'd be a faff. And basically, it don't work. So I'm going to try and get that sorted out tomorrow with my good friend Nick. So as is always the case with apps, they're never straightforward. Anyway, hope you found this interesting. Uh, not much happening today. But tomorrow we'll have more of a vloggy post with the amazing EV Nick. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.